Yes! Hello, my internet friends, and welcome to the highlight of my week. Indeed, the uh, the happiest 10 minutes of uh, of my life every week. It's uh, it's Talking Mayhem Mania. I'm, uh, I'm your pal in the mainstream media. Um, this guy's name is Chad the Shad. Yes, Hello, sir. Chad. Hello. Um, thank you for... This is the very first time we've been doing Mayhem Mania for three years! This is the first time you've ever played, uh, as far as I can remember. Is, am I right? Uh, Wait, I, you did do, you did I, play I may have another played time. one other time, yes. yes. Well, let's see what or you... Or at least I was here when it was happening. I'm not sure if I actually participated full force, but I have been here. Um, maybe I think maybe the first year. Usually we try to take it easy on the folks who are uh, newcomers or infrequent players, but uh, Mad Mike, merciful son of a bitch that he is, decided that he was going to give you the punishment. Yeah. You had to spin the wheel of 205 Live. Yeah. And you got Grand Metalik. Um, but it worked out for everybody because you got DIY onto the card, yes, which were criminally being unused up until this point. So yes. I was surprised they were not anywhere near. No one was more surprised card. than me. Yeah, no. I thought maybe Adam tucked back on the super card. Y- you back in yeah, safety. You think, well, I think once we, um, we, we, well, we have that tag match on the super card, that American Alpha Kings of Wrestling Revival tag team match, and I am certain that some of the players had been scheming to possibly get the hardies into that match but it, it graduated before anyone could make their move and no one even thought about diy you forgot about diy you idiots um what else are we gonna do here uh we gotta talk about a couple things here let's bring mad mike in mad mike um you got to hand hi, out the hi, punishment Matt. this week um and i want to talk to you about the uh the match that graduated um that led to you uh getting this nice reward that you uh used so wisely um tonight um the shield versus the new day the match that you created the match that graduated and you know what i'm sitting here and i'm watching sorg is struggling to find a useful singles wrestler larry's struggling to find a useful singles wrestler because we've got reigns ambrose and rollins and the new day all tied up in this useless six-man match you did this mad mike and i want you to apologize to everyone for creating this goddamn match that didn't deserve to be on the supercard anyways. I told everyone last week why how it could have been made even better. We had a chance to make Bullet Club versus Shield. We didn't do that. The New Day, I mean, in real life or in our own imagination, would get steamrolled by the Shield. It would be a 20-second match. It would be Owens Goldberg times six. Um, explain yourself. Explain yourself! Um, um, I will not apologize. Defend this match. I will, I will defend it. Okay. Uh, do you want to see Roman Reigns in a singles match? I don't no, know that. Don't. That Rain Strowman no, match at Fastlane was awesome. It was yeah, awesome. That's because that's because of Braun Strowman. Well, that's just not book because, him with that's Braun Strowman then. <sighs> no, but no, but Matt, you know, I, I've, I've, as you know, I've been participating in in my thirty two manias with Mike, and the past two manias I've I've watched the Shield, and it it only confirmed and reaffirmed my thoughts and feelings on this match because new day has never had a good three person feud. They've never had a good three person feud. They've had a lot of three on two feuds and the shield there. They tried so many times to get three people to go against the shield. Eventually they had to bring back evolution for Christ's sake, but that was the actually new day, nice. The new day works better as a team than the shield does. Are you kidding me? Yes. Did you not listen to JBL all those years that the Shield? You wouldn't shut up about it. That's a well old machine, Michael. Look at them. They're like, they're, they're, they're wrestling. Um, they Matt, changed the whole Matt, thing. I, they I, always I, got I, you outnumbered, even if it is three on three. Matt, I, I have a question for you. What? Did the Shield ever hold the tag team championships for over 400 days? D- uh, did they? Is, did they? I'm, you know I'm sorry. What? I might be a little foggy in my record books. Quiet. Did they ever do that, Quiet. Matt? Quiet. Quiet. So that's a no. Chad, that's a no. Cut his mic. Chad. Chad. That's don't a you no. Think, don't you You're think fake we news, done? Matt Carlin. No, you You're fake you news. Start with me. Cut him off. Oh, Cut oh, him oh, off. Oh, no. <sighs> Disrespect. Disrespect. Huh. Oh. Oh, oh, geez, oh, man. I can't believe that. Oh. Oh, all right. Uh, Chad, the don't lunatic. you think we could have come up with something better? I can't opponent believe you, wise for I can't the shield, you ejected somebody from the, the new show. day. They are not worthy competition. I know they held the tag team titles for four hundred days, but they, they're not on the shield's level. They're not on the Bullet Club's level. 
You know, should have been a triple threat with a spear squad. I would have taken the the Hardys and the dilapidated vo- boat in a three way versus the Shield, right. but uh, no one jumped on that one either. Triple threat with the Spirit Squad, oh my and God. New Day, and which the- three in the Spirit Squad? Do you re- <laughs> do, do you put Dolph back into the Spirit Squad? Yes, you do. Please, you yes, you do that. Oh my God, there you go, Dolphy. And then then Richie. you have yeah. Well, I, you have another nine man match. I'm really good at making these nine man matches. Well, they, they, they're just kind of crying out for it. Oh, let's talk about one. Mad Mike, let's bring Mad Mike in one more time. Hi. Um, I want to address Matt, one other Matt, thing I'm that's been happening. Uh, Matt, Matt, I do want to apologize. You're not fake news. I Damn apologize. right, I'm not. This is so legit. I apologize. This I is apologize. Not getting, this is not getting made up as it go as we go along. Not no. in the least. Um, I want to address the lack of present women wrestlers on the wwe main roster they're not finding their way out of the card last year we were like tripping over ourselves to get bailey and sasha and emma and all these other folks onto this card this year we got like it took like six weeks to get charlotte on this card and now we've got like girls from 10 years ago where's bailey where's sasha where's emma um i I know where nikki Mm -hmm. was um not that you're clamoring to get it where's becky where's goddamn becky lynch Where's Alexa? Where, where's Foxy? What's up? You're all asking we, where Emma is. That's true. We have been waiting so long. Yeah. We know exactly where Emma is. Where's Ember is. Moon? Where's Ember Moon? But Mike, what's going on? What what I, is I this was resistance? Going, I was going. To, I I was forced into making a match with Peyton Royce last week. That's true. And I I was go I was actually going to make a match with Ember Moon. But I didn't want to make like Ember Moon versus Peyton Royce because no one wants to see that. No, ma'am. Um, so I, so and and I, like I said, I've been on nostalgia kick with these WrestleManias, and Lay Cool never got their just do at WrestleMania because they were awesome, and the iconic duo against Lay Cool, I think, still would be a killer match, even though it was taken out this week. All right, fair enough. Um, how much time do we have left, Sword? Usually try to go. Oh, you don't even know. All right, let's start a Twitter feud with Renee Young. All right, anybody got any ideas here? Let's see what we can do. Nay, 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 nay you look. You nay, don't nay. look good in hats. Nay, nay, stop. Wait, let's see here. Um, I'm trying to come up with something. Sorry, my phone's really slow. How about nay, nay, stop stealing our mayhem mania ideas? By the way, sorry about the forklift. Put on a scarf. <laughs> Smiley face emoji. Right, wow, you're the worst starter of Twitter beef. All right, you got a better idea? Give me something else. I, I told you, you look stupid in hats. And nay, no nay, smiley it face. It might be emoji. time to lose the hat. Also, sorry about the forklift. Smiley <laughs> face. Oh, it actually put a smiley face. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Matt, Matt would be Chad, really read, Chad, read that it. would be really bad at telegrams. Read that. Like, read that stop. Read that, stop. Stop. I said stop. Chad, just read that to everybody. Nate, eight. It might be time to lose the hat. Also, sorry about the forklift. Smiley face. Actually, put a smiley face. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Technology. It's not for everyone. It's learning, adapting. <laughs> <laughs> Smarter than me now, Matt, uh, Matt. Matt, for the for the entire week, can can every one of your tweets and with the hashtag? Sorry about the forklift. <laughs> sorry about the forklift. Sorry about your damn forklift. Um, <laughs> hashtag sorry about the forklift. Sorry about the forklift. <laughs> um, hashtag get certified. <laughs> can't be driving that thing around without, without certification. Come on. Well, you to want, be fair, you want OSHA to come in it. here and start making matches now? Allow he didn't drive here. it. He, he just operated the, the, the lifting mechanism. Baron Corbin might actually be certified to, to drive a forklift. <laughs> oh, I didn't say he needed it. <laughs> He's a low and worthless certification, damn it. <laughs> you know what? Patreon in the bank round is just two weeks away. The Rock is out there. Baron Corbin's still out there. Forklift is out there. I'm just saying. Oh. That's all. That's all. Just throwing that match. out there. Wait, Forklift wait, match. It has to happen. We can book. <gasps> Matt. What? Do you think we're going to get Baron Corbin versus Dean Ambrose with Renee on a forklift match? Forklift tables match. That would seem like a waste of Renee, but maybe in a mobile Mick Foley underneath it. I don't know. She doesn't have to move at all. Oh, I'm, I'm, talking like, 
At Mick Foley had have, the controls. He wouldn't have to move. Maybe you can put the forklift on the on the after show. But like the interview <laughs> on the after show on yeah, Talking Smack. Interviews the forklift. Just yeah, put the table then. Get that forklift on Talking Smack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Um, lift up the table. Put it back down. Oh no, Matt! If the forklift's on uh, Talking Smack, it might be an up and down show. Right, uh, Mad Mike. Thank you for joining us this week. <laughs> Um, good job with your creations. Thank you for making Cena versus Undertaker. Thank you for granting wishes. Hey, Chad, nice hey, to see Juan, you again. It's a great time. Cut his mic. He's done. Goldberg? No, no, you're done. I'm very Come sad. On. Why'd you do that, American Kevin Owens? You mean man. Uh, by the way, does anybody want knows if Mad Mike? Here's a, here's a question for all, all of you to answer in the comment section below. If Mad Mike is the American Kevin Owens, who's the Canadian Goldberg? Send your answers. We'll uh, look forward <laughs> to all of them. Chad, thank you. Mike, no thank you. Thank you all for watching. I'm sorry I don't know which camera to look at. I think I got it right. Do I? What? Hey, everybody. Thank you for watching. Go to WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Get caught up on Mayhem Mania. And stay mayhemy.